good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Just fine, thanks. And you? I am doing good. Very happy to be here. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, many of you are joining. That's fantastic. Great. So we're going to wait for many of the rest to come. Uh, we're missing two or three minutes still. So we can start on time. It is a great pleasure to start another adventure with you. Yes, your microphone is off. I cannot listen to you. Morning. Hello, good evening, good evening. Hello, how are you? I am 24 years old. Excellent. Well, we're very happy that all of you are here and that uh, you have the opportunity to start another program, another module with us here in English Corporativo. It is a very, very beautiful opportunity that you have in order to learn English. So we are going to wait for one more minute and we will start. So tell me, just to just to break the ice, how do you feel? Do you feel happy? Do you feel excited? Do you feel nervous? How do you feel today? Nervous, teacher. Nervous. Very nervous. <laughs> you feel nervous. Go on. Why? Okay. You don't have to feel no, nervous. <laughs> You don't have to feel nervous, right? You are uh, here, we are a family, and for sure we are going to learn all together, right? The idea of this program is that we can learn together, okay? Okay, we are 12 participants now. Hey, that's pretty awesome. And we are about to start. We are missing just one minute for us to start. Uh, the class, but don't feel nervous, right? Don't feel nervous. The idea of this is that you feel fine, that you feel uh, comfortable in the class and that you feel as part of a family, right? Hey, I feel better like this than like this, but any of the two ways it's okay. Okay, so I am teacher Natalie De Flores. I am going to be your facilitator in this module, right? Module number two. This is your beginners two module. And well, what can I tell you about me? I have been a teacher for almost 18 years and it is a big, big pleasure for me to serve you uh, in this opportunity. I have had a lot of experience in different fields Right? I have worked in different areas of education. And in this time, I am working with Inglés Corporativo. Right? And what else uh, could I share from me? I really love teaching. I think it has been my biggest passion forever. Right? And I was very happy today because I was going to meet my new group and I said, yes, I am going to meet my new students. So I hope that we can have a very nice relationship as students and teacher. And these 16 days are going to be very fast. You are going to see. I hope you enjoy every single class. And I have some things to uh, remind you this week, we are going to have classes from uh, Tuesday to Friday. Why? Because next month we are having one day of vacation. Huh? What is the vacation that we have next month? What is the vacation that we have? Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me. Independence Day. 
Independence Day. It is the best day of the year, right? Later, you are, you are going to know why, right? Independence Day, it's the best day of the year, right? It is a very special birthday for me. Yeah, mine. <laughs> that's why I love it. It is a, going to be a vacation. So that's why we are going to have classes today, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, okay? Then next week, only the normal four days and the next week, normal, okay? So that's for you to keep in mind and for you to keep it in your agenda. Another thing, I need you to have your notebook ready. I need you to have a notebook ready. I don't know if you have it. Can you show it to me? Si tienen su cuaderno, porfa, me lo muestran. Yes, yes, yes. Good, very good. Show me your notebook. Hmm, if you don't have it, go and get one. Okay, great. You have your notebook right there. That's excellent. Fantastic, fantastic, excellent. Hey, you have your notebooks there. That is very, very, very good. Okay, so. Some of the um, agreements that I want to have with the class, okay, are first, we are going to practice English, English, and English. If it is necessary, we are going to practice a little bit of a Spanish, but only for very specific things, okay? Only if you don't understand and you say like, no, teacher, I don't understand, I don't understand anything, we're going to use Spanish but we're going to use only English, okay? So, sorry, right? We are going to practice only English. The second agreement that we are going to have in the class is that we are going to keep the cameras on, okay? We are going to keep the cameras on because that is a sense of belonging, okay? Ahorita con la cuestión de pandemia, COVID y todo eso, eh, nos hemos acostumbrado mucho a estar alejados y todo, pero este momento si tenemos las cámaras encendidas y nos podemos ver, vemos que estamos aprendiendo juntos, vemos que todos estamos interactuando, practicando y todo, tenemos ese sentido de pertenencia, ese sentido de estar en un grupo. So that's why I need the cameras on all the time. Later on, you can go to Facebook, to YouTube, and to see yourself there in the video, right? It's like, ah, that's my class, I am there. And you can like the video and comment and everything in the page of Inglés Corporativo. So you have the chance to go and actually uh, check on the classes right there. Please, I need you to attend the classes regularly, right? I need you to attend the classes regularly for you to be um, all the time in the class, okay? For you not to miss anything from the class. And for sure, participate as much as possible. The idea of having a class like this is to participate, right? I need you to participate as much as you want, as much as possible, so you can have the best of the interaction here. So some of the things that we have done here in the class agreements, and I am going to write them with you. So you cannot say like, no, solo la teacher los puso, yo nunca participé en los agreements. No, right? So we're going to say, keep the cameras on, right? Keep cameras on. Speak English, right? We need to speak English. Speak English most of the time. You speak English most of the time. The next one, participate. Participate. What else? We need to connect to classes. And what, and what is another agreement that you think that we need to have here? ¿Qué otro acuerdo pusieran ustedes en sus acuerdos de clase? Uh -huh. Micrófonos apagados eh, mientras no participamos. Okay, mute the microphone if you are not using it. Mute the microphone if you are not using it. Okay, mute the microphone. What else? I am going to say help each other. 
This is very important. Help each other because that is the only way that we are going to learn. If I know and I can do it, another person can do it as well. Okay. If I am advancing, my friends are advancing with me. Okay. So help each other here and in the chat because the chat is made for that, for you to practice your English, for you to send a information for you to uh, say good morning to your friends, for you to practice your English, and for sure to send some homework that I am going to assign. Also, you can use the, the WhatsApp group for that. Okay. Um, you can use it to share some funny things and everything, but it's not a social chat. Okay. It is not like full of memes and stickers and everything. No, we love them, but no. But uh, you can use it to share links about English, okay? De repente le voy a enviar algunos links para que ustedes puedan practicar y todo, para que ustedes puedan leer un poco más. So you can do the same, okay? So these are the agreements of the class. So I can tell you, welcome to the class. And I told you already, this is me. What is my name? Uh -huh. Natalia de Flores. Natalia de Flores. Natalie. Natalie. Okay. <laughs> Natalie. I am Natalie de Flores. Good. You can tell me, teacher Natty, Miss Natty. Okay. Just the way you are. Natalie, Miss Natty. Okay. Teacher Natty. And it's okay. It's, it's fine. So I told you a little bit of me, right? I am a teacher. I am a facilitator. I am going to be your friend here to work together. I am going to help you with English and as much as I can do it. So to start this class, because I talk too much already. So we are going to start working and I need everybody to work on this. We are going to work answering these little sentences that I have here, okay? I have a couple of sentences that need to be completed. How are we going to do that? And you, you will say like this. My name is, right? Remember the word name, you have to close your mouth, right? My name is, don't say my name, okay? No, no, my name is, no, say my name is, and then you tell me your name. My favorite, remember, listen to the pronunciation, favorite, my favorite food is, my favorite sport is, can you practice with me? Open the microphones, everybody, and say favorite. 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 Don't say favorite. Don't say favorite. Say favorite. My favorite food is. My favorite food is. My favorite sport is. My favorite sport is. My favorite is. My hobbies are. My hobbies are. My favorite color is. My favorite color is. My favorite color is. My favorite animal is. Okay, so right now, what I need you to do is to write the sentences in your notebook. And later on, you are going to share it with everybody, okay? So you complete it. My name is Isaías Rosales, Ana Beatriz, Dora Alicia, eh, Gustavo Adolfo, Yaritza, Mauricio, Elmer, Marlon, Moisés, Raúl, Adriana. Uh, Jose Moises, Jairo Chavez, right. You're going to complete the sentence with your name, right? Then you say, my favorite food is, and I know you're going to write pupusas, but try to vary, okay? <laughs> Don't write only pupusas, okay? My favorite sport is, and then you can write football, basketball, baseball, golf, pool, whatever sport that you like. My hobbies are, my favorite color is, and my favorite animal is. For this, I am going to give you three minutes for you to write the sentences, okay? Go ahead. 
three minutes, starting right now. Write the sentences in your notebook. All these ones, right? I need you to write these sentences for sure with your answer in your notebook, okay? And I need you to send me a like or a reaction when you finish. You can send me a like when you finish. Okay, like, Ana Beatriz is done. Good, very good. She writes very fast. Okay, okay, I need to see your likes to see that you are done. <clears throat> done, done, done. So let me know. I don't know if you know each other. ¿Ya se conocían antes? ¿Habían estado juntos antes? No? Everything is new for you. New group for me. Oh, it's a new group for you. Okay. So let me know when you have the sentences ready. And you can tell me also, if you don't have the reactions, you can tell me, ready, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Raul. You finished? Good. Excellent. Okay. Done. Very good. Okay, so I think most of you are about to finish. Okay, I can see that most of you have finished. Thank you, Adriana, for the reaction. Thank you very much. So, as it is our first time together, and as it is the new, as it is a new group, right? We are going to have a little interaction with other students in a little group, and it's going to be for a couple of minutes only. And on the group, I need you to share to share your answers. Say like, my name is, my favorite food is, my favorite sport is. My hobbies are, do you know what hobbies are? Yes or no? Do you know what is the meaning of hobbies? Yes. Yes, yes. activities that you do in your free time, okay? Activities that you do in your free time, those are hobbies. So what we're going to do is that in these mini groups, you are going to share your answers and you're going to say, hello, everybody. My name is, and you share, you say your name. My favorite food is, my favorite sport is, my hobbies are, my favorite color is, and my favorite animal is. And the next person and the next one and the next one. Okay, it's going to be like three or four people that are the ones uh, that are going to be in the group with you. Okay, questions? Yes or no? No questions? For now, no. <laughs> okay, very good. So let's go with the groups. I am going to go to the different groups to see, not that if you are talking or not, right? But to listen to your participation, okay? Let's go to the groups right now. You are going to get a little invitation there for you to join the other groups. Go ahead. 
Let's do this. Okay, you're going to get an invitation. Join the different groups. Go ahead. Excellent. Only Jairo. Am I missing? Okay, very good, very good. Jairo, do you have problems to enter to the room? Hello, hello, Jairo. Do you have difficulties to enter to the room? There you go. Okay, so all as all the students are in the different rooms, we are going to send them a message, right? Remember to practice your English. Okay. Hello. Okay, I'm going to assign you to a group. We are working in mini groups right now. Okay, Carlotta, hello. We are working in mini groups. So accept the invitation, please. There you go. Okay, we're going to go to the different groups to see how the students are doing. We have some messages in the chat. Very good. Done, 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 done. Very good. Let's go to see the groups. Is uh, the pizza. Uh, my favorite sport is uh, it's a soccer. Uh, my hobbies are uh, reading a book. Uh, my favorite color is blue, and uh, my favorite animal is a dog. No sé quién va a si no va nadie, puedo decirlo yo. Dale, Mauricio. Oh, Walter. My name is Walter Samuel. My favorite food is chicken. My favorite sport is a soccer, my hobby are is playing, uh, playing my cell phone. My favorite color is green. My favorite animals is. Favorite animal is the cat. Cats. Cat. Voy voy yo. Y desde último Sergio. Okay, my name is, my name is uh, Moises Orellana. My favorite uh, food is the meat and chicken. Uh, my favorite sport is the soccer. Uh, my hobbies are watch TV and play piano. Uh, my favorite color is the white. And my favorite animal is the duck. Okay. Sergi. Okay. Uh, good night, guys. My name is Sergio Aguilar. And my favorite food is. Is. Falto yo. Y. También es mi primera clase, así que estoy conociendo la plataforma. Este, de, no sabía cómo había llegado a esta sala. Eh, bueno, para el ejercicio, my, my name is Elmer. Eh, my favorite food are meat and lasagna. My favorite sports is soccer. Eh, my favorite hobbies are watch the news and listen the music. My favorite color is blue. And my favorite animal is rabbit. Did you all finish? 
Finish. Yes. Okay, so we're about to we are about to go back to the rooms. So maybe we can just talk a little bit while I finish with the other group and then we continue. We can explain Elmer a little bit about the platform and everything so he can feel welcome, okay? Okay. Good. I am going to go to the last group and then we go back to the main room. My name. My name is Dora Alicia. My favorite food is the pizza. And my favorite sport is football. A sport, a football, se dice, ¿verdad? Soccer. It's soccer. Football is American football. Uh -huh. Soccer. My hobby is. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Did you Hi. finish? Hello. Yes. Oh my God, you were very fast. Yes. And, and I was because you were group number five, but you were very fast. So we're going to go to the main room. So we can just uh, listen to everybody there. Okay, let's just go to the main session. Hello, it's me. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, so it was very cool to listen to all of you participating and talking in English and everything. And it's like, oh, no, I can't speak English. Ah, and I enter and you were like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And my name is this and this and this and this. And you were there like American people speaking English. <laughs> that was very good. It was very nice to listen. I really like something about this group that you don't feel afraid to speak. And that is a total 10 for everybody. That's a very, very good thing that you are not afraid of speaking, right? That is something that I really like from my classes, okay? Aquí no hay el yo no puedo, el me da pena, ay, me da, ay, me da vergüenza que me oigan. No. In my class, no. Maybe we're going to laugh someday, yes? But uh, it is going to be laughing together, okay? Thank you. I don't know who's sharing the screen, but if you want to show us something, that's fantastic. For me, it's okay. Well, so we were talking about specific things and I need um, five volunteers to give me the answers. Five volunteers. You can raise your hand on the platform and participate. Go ahead. Who wants to participate? Jenny Romero, go ahead. Hello. My name is Jenny Romero. Um, my favorite food is a uh, China food. Uh, my favorite sport is uh, play soccer. Um, my hobbies are uh, listen to music. Um, my favorite color is black. Um, my favorite animal is a duck. Good, very good. Duck. Excellent. I need you to give two claps to Jenny. Okay, vamos todos, dos aplausos, only two. ¿Por qué? Están caros, como la gasolina. <laughs> only two. No, so you can keep for everybody. Thank you, Jenny. Raúl, go ahead. My name is Abdiel Martinez. My favorite food is vegetarian pizza. My favorite sport is running. My hobby are, is jo my hobby are yoga. My favorite color is purple. My favorite animal is dog. Excellent. Two claps for Abdiel. Go ahead. Very good job. Uh, Ana Beatriz, go ahead. My name is Ana Beatriz. My favorite food is pizza. My favorite sport is soccer. My hobbies are uh, watch movie with my son and play video games. Uh, my favorite color is the black. My favorite animal is the cat. Very good job. Two claps, please. Good, very good job. Let's continue with Mauricio Isau. Go ahead. Hello, my name is Mauricio. My favorite food is 
uh, chicken soup. My favorite sport is volleyball. My hobbies are dancing and listen to music. My favorite color is black. Mm, and my favorite animal is dog. Very good. Two claps for Mauricio. Excellent. Very good job. Adriana Galdames, go ahead. Hi. Mm, my name is uh, Adriana. My favorite uh, food is pizza. My favorite favorite sport is um, basketball. My hobby hard um, watch TV. My favorite color is black. Y my animal is I. ¿Cómo se diría? I I don't have animal. I don't have favorite animal, right? I don't have favorite animal. Good, very good. Thank you, Adriana. Two claps for Adriana. Great. <laughs> Excellent. Someone else who wants to participate? I am not going to say no to this. Open your microphone and go ahead. No? One, two, three, four. Democratic volunteer, Elmer Celaya. Go ahead. Uh, good, good evening. Hello, good my, evening. My name is Elmer. My favorite food is um, meat. Are, my favorite food are meat and lasagna. Ooh, my cool. favorite sport is uh, soccer. My hobby are um, listen to music and watch the news. Good. My favorite color is uh, blue. And my favorite animal is rabbit. Excellent. Very good job. Two claps for Elmer. Another democratic volunteer. Chin, 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 chin. Vamos a ver al más sonriente de la clase. Marlon Barrientos, go ahead. You see, you smile. Go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Marlon Barrientos. My favorite food is pizza. Uh, my favorite sport is soccer. My hobbies are go to, to the gym. My favorite sport is blue. And my favorite animal is, is dog. Excellent. Very good. Two claps for Marlon. Now, a smiley lady. Hmm. Carlota Hueso. Let's see. Hello. Good evening. My name is Carlota Hueso de Tepeda. My favorite food is chicken. My favorite sport is basketball. My favorite, my hobby are music. My favorite color is red. My favorite animal is dog. Excellent, very good. Two claps for Carlota. Very good job. Excellent. Now we are going to see the one with the best hairstyle of the night. Vamos a ver el más peinado de todos. That's very difficult because all of you are very elegant. Okay. Muy my goodness. God. <laughs> Who do you think it's the best uh, good-looking hairstyle of the night? ¿Quién es el más peinado de la noche? A ver, ¿quién vota por quién? Moy Díaz. <laughs> Moy, go ahead. Let's see, Moy, Moy. Hello. Hi, go ahead. Todo despeinándose. <laughs> My name is Moises. My favorite food is burger. My favorite sport is soccer. My hobby are uh, to sleep. <laughs> My favorite color is blue. My favorite animal is dog. Excellent, very good. Two claps for Moises, good. You see, my favorite hobby is to sleep. I think everybody's favorite hobby is to sleep. And what is funny, when you go to the bed, you cannot sleep, but during the day, Falling, falling, falling. But in the bed, watching TikTok. Come on. <laughs> Let's see. The last participation is going to be chin, 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 for a mysterious person, Carlos Ernesto, because I cannot see your camera. So, Carlos Ernesto, go ahead. Okay. Uh, my name is Carlos. Uh, my favorite food is uh, pizza. Uh, my, fav my favorite sport is uh, soccer. My hobbies are is reading a book. Uh, my favorite color is a blue. 
And uh, my favorite animal is a dog. Very good job. Thank you. Two claps for you. Very nice. Okay. So my last participation is going to be a lady. Aha. Yolanda Kelly. Jolivet. Oh, okay, no, for sure. Kelly and Yolanda. Okay, two volunteers. Volunteers democratically. Yolanda first and then uh, Kelly. Go ahead. Okay, good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Yolanda Hernandez. My favorite food is fish. My favorite sport is basketball. My hobby is watch TV. My favorite color is pink. My favorite animal is rabbit. Excellent, very good job. Two claps for Yolanda. And last but not least, Kelly. Um, hi. Hi. My, my name is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. I have one too. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Uh, my name is Kelly. My favorite food is pasta. My favorite sport is running. My hobbies are uh, is watch TV. My favorite color is pink. And my favorite animal is dog. Excellent, very good job. Thank you, Kelly. Two claps for you. Well, don't worry about the dogs, about the noise, the kids and everything. It is part of our day to day. So I have a big dog too. So in one of the classes you are going to listen to, ah, and it's my dog. And in some cases you are going to see it here because she loves the camera and she just comes like, ¿Qué hace, mamá? ¿Qué está haciendo? <laughs> right, and she comes to the camera. She loves to, to be in the camera. So uh, it's very difficult for me because as it's very big, she just enters her head like this. Well, and I am going to go over some mistakes that I heard when you were participating. Don't feel bad. And say like, uy, la teacher me puso ahí en, on the spot con mi error. Don't feel bad. I am just going to make the corrections for us not to make the mistakes again. Okay, for example, when you pronounce the, the word name, my name is, right? You need to practice and you need to be very careful with that. When you say favorite, my favorite, don't say favorite, okay? Please don't say favorite. Un diccionario se muere cada vez que decimos favorite. No maten a los diccionarios. My favorite, my favorite, okay? My favorite food is, my favorite sport is. Okay, the next one. When you say my favorite sport is the soccer, don't say the soccer. That is a very common mistake from Spanish that you say la mesa, la silla, la Juana, el Mario, right? It's a very common mistake that you put el o la to everything. And it happens to English. When you bring that to English, you make the same mistake. You say my favorite sport is soccer. My favorite food is pizza. My favorite food is chicken. Don't say the chicken, the pizza, the soccer. No, okay? Porque ahí nos estamos hablando del español, okay? Uh, the next one. My favorite color is the white, you say. No, my favorite color is white. When you enter to the meeting, don't say good night, friends. You say good evening, friends, okay? Good night is when you go to bed, okay? Eso lo aprendieron en el módulo uno. Si no voy a traer al teacher o a la teacher para que me desmienta, si no es así. Right? Good night is when you go to sleep. Good evening is when you say hello. Football. Football, it's American football. The one that we play here in El Salvador, it's called soccer. Okay? I like soccer, you say. Uh, or beach soccer, if you like it. I like a China food. No, you say I like and when you're going to, ref to refer to the food, you say, I like Chinese food, okay? Eh, comida, eh, China, right? Chinese food. The next one. My favorite hobby is to play, is a play soccer, you say. It's to play soccer. I, my favorite animal is a dog, right? Mi animal favorito es un perro. No, you say, my favorite animal is dog. Uh, the pronunciation of favorite, 
My favorite hobbies are, when you use are, you have to give me plural things, two things. My favorite hobbies are uh, to sleep and to dance, to cook and to clean, right? To chat and to make TikToks, to play video games and to uh, cook, right? You have to give me two things. Um, let me see another one. Ah, listen the music. Say, listen to music. Okay, we have to be very careful with that. Um, my favorite food is a pizza. Say, no, my favorite food is pizza. And my favorite sport, basketball. My favorite sport is basketball. Okay, no nos comamos palabras. My name, right? And I think those were the mistakes that I spotted. And I really like to take notes about mistakes so we can improve every single class, okay? Great job, students. Thank you for the ones who participated. I need you to send a reaction to your friends to have the courage to participate. You can send a reaction there of love, of party, or whatever reaction that you have. There. Thank you for the ones who participated. Excellent. I am going to get to know you little by little every single class. So we are going to move into business and we're going to go over the first topic that I have for today. Transportation, right? Have you heard before the word transportation? Yes? No? Sí, teacher. No, teacher. Yes, teacher. Have you heard the word transportation before? Yes. Okay, no hay problema. Okay, we have different ways uh, to refer to transportation. How? The first one is drive. Drive. The next one is walk. The next one, take the bus. Hey. When you take the bus, right? Here in El Salvador, it's very complicated to take a bus, right? El visto que más duele. To take the subway, we don't have subway here in El Salvador. No, uh, thank God, we don't have subway. Uh, take the train, we don't have trains in El Salvador. We have buses and coasters, right? Or you can take an Uber or you can take a taxi, right? Ride a bike ride a bike, ride a motorcycle, or take a taxi or a cab. So what is the way of transportation that you normally use? Open your microphone and answer. You can say, I drive, I walk, I take the bus. I walk every day. Good. To go to my work. I walk uh, to, to work and uh, and anyway, so uh, I walk out uh, for my house. Okay, you go to you go to work uh, walking. Hey, that's very awesome. Uh, someone else? Who else? How do you go to work? Who takes uh, the bus? The time. Uh -huh. How much do you walk to your to your work? It's a uh, uh, five minutes uh, of my house. Hey, yeah. that's very nice. Very lucky. Okay. No hay nadie más suertudo que el que vive cerca de su trabajo. That's very nice. So, who takes the bus? Tell me. Me, teacher. I take the bus. Me, teacher. I take the bus. Okay. Only one, two, three. How many buses do you take? Um, one. Only one, okay. Who drives to work? Who drives to work? I'm driving to work. Okay, good. Marlon too. Who else? Yes, I, I drive to okay. my work. I ride a motorcycle. Okay, Carlos rides a motorcycle. That was my next question. Who rides a motorcycle to go to work? Besides Carlitos. Only Carlos. Who rides a bicycle? No one. Who takes a taxi to go to work? 
sometime over. Okay, sometimes you call an Uber, right? Good, it's good. Sometimes it's necessary. Who goes by ride? Do you know what's the meaning of ride? I am going to put it on the chat. Who goes by ride? Okay, and it is not ride, okay? Nosotros estamos acostumbrados que dice que te den ride. Yeah. Ride, pero quizás el matabicho. <laughs> But no, it's ride, and I wrote it on the chat. Right? Who goes by right? A quien le dan right to go to work? No one. No? And the rest, how do you go to work? Mr. Jairo, how do you go to work? I'm drive. Okay, you drive. Excellent. Mr. Gustavo? <laughs> Gustavo has a friend there. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, he's very busy. There. <laughs> Poor Gustavo. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Él vive lo que yo vivo. <laughs> Gustavo's friend is there with him. Okay, good. Let's see. Adriana, how do you go to work? I take um, the bus. You take the bus, good. So these are the different ways that we can use in order to go to work, right? You can drive. Can you repeat with me, please? Drive. 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 I walk. I walk. I, I, I take the bus. I take the bus. I ride a bike. I ride, I, ride a bike. Bike. I ride a motorcycle. Like, I, I ride, ride a motorcycle. motorcycle. I take a taxi. I take, I take a taxi. taxi. I take the subway. I take, I take the subway. subway. I take the train. I take, I take, I take the train. train. I go by coaster. I, I, I go by coaster. I run to my work. I will run my word. Well, we have. <laughs> I, I think every single day it's like, ah, oh, it's like the time. And when you see the time, then you have to start running, right? What cardio or anything? No, I mean, here in El Salvador, it's the best cardio that we can have. Okay, so that's good. Here, I have a short review about the first topic that you have in the platform. Or, by the way, remember that you have access to your platform and you can, act, you can advance as much as you want, right? Remember that you can advance as much as you want. I am just going to stop here to make this very quick review and uh, to tell you about this. I think that you can see my screen now, yes? About the platform? So remember that you have here all the different exercises on the platform. And the idea is that you start working on them as soon as you want. So if you started already, that's perfect, okay? I am going to be advancing on the different topics, but you can advance as much as you want, okay? So the idea is that you can go and progress in the platform as much as possible, okay? So this is the other commercial that I have for you. I need you to work in the platform as much as possible, okay? So if you have questions, if you have difficulties, put it on the chat, okay? Um, friends, I have a problem with this exercise. Can you help me? And we're going to be there to help you, okay? That was the commercial of the platform. Advance as much as possible because the idea is that you finish and that you complete everything before the end of the module, okay? Okay. ¿Estamos claros con la plataforma? Okay. Good. Okay. So, the first thing that I was going to add before going to the platform, family members review. I know that you know the vocabulary of the family members, yes or no? Mm -hmm. No? Not at all? No tengan pena, no tengan pena. 
O si no lo han estudiado, díganme, no, teacher, I don't know. The family members are uh, father, mother. Ajá, exactly sister, like that. Brother. Very good, very good, Mr. Elmer, very good. What are other names of family members that you remember? And this is an open question for everybody. Sister, and cousin. Sister, aunt, cousin, very good. What else? Grandfather, grandmother. Grandfather, grandmother, good. What else? Wife. Husband. Wife, husband, good. Stepsister, stepdaughter. Stepsister, stepdaughter, stepmother, uh-huh. What else, what else? Grandfather. Grandfather, good, grandfather. What uncle. else? Uncle, right? Be careful with uncle and ankle, right? Ankle is the part of your body, right? Ankle, es su tobillo, es tobillo. Ankle is tobillo. Uncle is tío. So like, I love you, ankle. Y ustedes abrazando un tobillo. No, 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 no. Say, I love you, uncle. Uncle is tío, ankle, tobillo. Okay, be careful not to confuse them, okay? Any other family member that you remember? Uh -huh. I am going to help you a little bit with a, a very short list that I have. Okay, se permiten screenshot en tres, dos, uno. There you go. <laughs> I have here. Yeah, because if you copy everything, it's going to be difficult. I am going to make you copy, but not today. I have here some family members um, presented and it says father, that it's the, the formal uh, form or dad, that it's the informal way, right? Mother or mom, that it's the informal way. And it's it's the like the loveliest form, right? Son, daughter, brother, sister, grandfather, or grandpa, grandmother, or grandma. Okay, be careful not to say grandma, okay? It's grandma, okay, grandma. Granny, it's also uh, another possibility. Okay, it's like when you say abuelita, abue in Spanish. Grandson, granddaughter, uncle, aunt, cousin, right? I'm here, cousin, nephew, niece is not nice, okay? Niece, niece, wife, husband, you can say spouse. My spouse, it's for boy or girl, father-in-law, okay? Uh, for the ones who have girls, hmm, that's the diffi the most difficult words, like father-in-law, suegro. <sighs> <laughs> that's the one that you could, that you don't want to listen, right? Mother-in-law, parents-in-law, son-in-law, daughter-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law. This is the political family, okay? And for sure, the ones that you mentioned there that are a step. A step means astro-astra, say, a stepmother, madrastra. A stepsister, hermanastra. A step brother, hermanastro. Okay? So these are the different family members that we can have. Do you know the meaning of all of them? ¿Saben el significado de todos? If not, tell me, teacher, what is the meaning of, and you give me the word. Hello, what is the meaning, teacher, of espouse? Espouse. Um, yeah. Espouse is like esposo, esposa. It's similar um, if I want to refer um a girl or boy. Yes. You say like he's my spouse or she's my spouse. It's the it's it's okay, okay for both. Yes. And I have a question. Yes. Um if I want to say um my um like brothers, but I want to say sister and brother. Ah, good. How Those are very good questions. Those are 
siblings, right? Siblings, that is the one that I have here, right on top. Siblings mean hermanos, ya sea niño niña, okay? Siblings. Oh. You can say, I have seven siblings, right? It means that you have boys and girls. Any other question? What do you mean of niece? Niece. Okay, niece means sobrina. Niece. This is for a lady. Niece. Nephew is sobrino. Okay. Niece is for the girls and nephew is for the boys. Okay. Los hijos de tus hermanos. Niece and nephew. Sobrinos. Any other question? It's a very good moment. Or if you want to know another one that it's not on the list, it is also perfect. Remember that we have this one's also boyfriend and girlfriend. Boyfriend and girlfriend that are like also part of the part of, of your family. And uh, let me see if you have any other question. I'll be very pleased to answer. No, no more questions. Speak now or keep silence forever. <laughs> if not, we're going to go over the, the different ones that I have here, right? You have here boyfriend, siblings, girlfriend, and a stepmother, a stepsister, a stepbrother. Yes? Uh, a question. Yes? Parents is padres. Uh, yes. Parents in law serían suegros, ambos. Exactly like that, right? My parents in law, right? This one that we have here, my parents in law are mis suegros. Sister in law sería cuñada. Yes. And remember the pronunciation, it's parents, my parents, you say. Exactly as you do it in, in a singular, you say, these are my parents, mis papás, right? Parents, it's not parents, okay? Parents, my parents. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? I really want you to feel confident that you are understanding everything and that anything is like, ah, le hubiera preguntado a la teacher, pero me dio pena. No, we don't, we don't know about that here. Toda pregunta es válida. Okay. So now that we have it, did you screenshot it? ¿Ya lo copiaron todo? Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> good. Yes. Everything, everything, teacher. <laughs> good, very good. So, with the family members, right, for sure, we can have little divisions like the ones I have here presented. So, for example, here I have husband and wife, that means esposos, right? Husband and wife, and wife, the father or your mother, they are husband and wife, they are your parents. And for sure, you are son and daughter. They are the children of the house. Remember that children's doesn't exist, okay? Children's no existe. So the kids of the parents are uh, Jason and Emily. What is the name of the father? Paul. Paul. What is the name of the mother? Um, Anne. Anne. Anne, right, Anne, or Annie. And what is the name of the sister? Emily. Emily. Emily, right, Emily. If you think about your family, I need you to put the pictures of your mother, your father, your brothers and sisters. Maybe you have a big family or a small family. And in this case, I need you to picture the names of your mother, your father, your brothers and sisters. So, here, I am going to give you some definitions that we are going to be using in order to create sentences. Remember the picture, right? Remember the picture? Keep it in mind. And it says, Anne is Paul's wife. In this case, if I say it's Paul's with an apostrophe, wife, it's 
la esposa de quién? Paul. The Paul. Right? Paul. If I say Paul is Annie's what? Brother. Paul is Husband. Annie's sibling. Husband. Okay, let's go back. Um, Paul is Annie's. What is the relationship? Husband, right? Paul is Annie's husband. So in this case, you say Paul is Annie's husband. Oh, it's in yellow. I am going to put it in another color. Okay, husband. Jason is Annie's son. Uh huh. Let's go here. Jason is Annie's song. Very good. He's Anne's song. Okay, song. There you go. Emily and Paul. I'm Emily, is, sorry. Emily one. is Paul's daughter. 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 Jason is Emily's brother. 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 Really? Very good. Jason is Emily's brother. Let's go back to the picture. Right? Jason is Emily's brother. Good, very good. Emily is Jason's sister. Sister, very good. Emily is Jason's sister. Excellent. Paul and Anne are Paul and Anne are Paul's Parents. parents. Okay, they are parents, right? They are parents. parents. They are parents. And, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I Are Jason's parents. And Jason and Emily, are there? Children. children. Excellent. Jason yes. and Emily are their children. So, I need you to keep this in mind because we are going to use it for tomorrow. I need you to keep this one in mind because we are going to use this information for tomorrow. How are you going to use it? You are going to use this information, the one on the picture, based on your family. And you are going to say, okay, imagine that this is my case. And I will say like husband and wife, it will be Ernesto and Carmen. They are my parents. Sule and Henry are my brother and sister, and for sure, me. So tomorrow in the class, I need you to bring some examples similar to these ones, okay? Para mañana en la clase, vamos a trabajar unos ejemplos similares a estos que les dejo aquí, okay? But with your information, with your family, okay? You are going to say, for example, uh, Alexander is Nati's husband. Um, what? Suleima is Nati's sister. Henry is Nati's brother. Okay? Because I am using examples of my family. So you are going to use examples of your family for tomorrow. Okay? Is it clear? Okay, it's clear. Okay, very good job. So I need you to practice that for tomorrow because we are going to use it in class. So kids, um, I I don't know where the time went. My God, we were having a lot of fun that we didn't feel the time. So for tomorrow, please don't forget to complete sentences like this one because that is going to be the first thing that we do in the classes, okay? Have a beautiful night and it has been everything for today, okay? El tiempo vuela cuando nos divertimos. <laughs> Him because the time is over now. I am going to see you tomorrow for the next class. It has been a big pleasure for me to meet you and I am going to be waiting for you tomorrow. Same time, same, same Zoom channel, okay? <laughs> Have a beautiful night, students. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.